This is Ryan Kimball reporting for RK Sports Productions. Sluggers Baseball and Softball Training Facility recently opened in Brewer on 60 Acme Road to help Maine kids. Here is an insight to why the facility was built and the future plans with baseball and softball in Maine. It's exciting to have a facility like this be built in such a big city in Maine. Um, closest ones that are similar to this are down in Portland. I know there were, there were a couple of facilities in the past that were in the area that they, they weren't structured like this. This is strictly for baseball and softball. When you walk in the building, you know that we're all about baseball and softball. So it's exciting. It's a place for the kids to come in. We have pretty much all state-of-the-art equipment um, for, at the kids' disposal. We wanted to build something that you know is unique. It's one of a kind, and this facility is going to be open year-round for girls to come in and practice their skills as softball players. And we have a new projection screen that they can actually get the live hitting, live pitching experience that you know they never could do before. The kids. Um... We have been asking people in the area for the last couple of years uh, about if, if we built something, do you think the, the community would, would embrace it? If it was a nice facility, would, do you think it would make it? Do you think uh, people would come? Uh, uh, so we, I've been umpiring in Little League and, in, and, and been around for a long time. I know a lot of people and started asking teams and coaches and players that I knew uh, what do you think, what do you think, what do you think? And the overwhelming response was, you build it, they'll, they'll come. 100% baseball and softball, it's what we're all here for and we're here to teach. This is a place of instruction. It's not a rec center, it's not come in and kick a ball around. It, it's a, a program to teach baseball and softball from the very basic level to the advanced. And that's why we invested so much money in those pitching machines. We have February vacation clinics next week from ages 9 to 18 and we have the hitting clinic at the end of the month. Um, it's kind of like a league, they get to compete against their peers for points and work on accuracy hitting as well as an indoor league for 9 and 10 year olds and 11 and 12 year olds. They can actually play full games in here, 7 on 7 against each other live pitching, live hitting, and it should be really fun. Yeah, we have AAU teams from all the way from 10U up to 16U, and those play basically just on Sundays all through the summer until the middle of July is when the last season ends. We have a couple mini clinics coming up on Mondays and Wednesdays for the next two weeks up until February 20th, and then we, we do a lot of private instruction as well, one-on-one, -on -one. so kids get that, you know, they get a good coach, they're getting a lot of face time with a ball player who has much experience and knowledge of the game. Great little um, mini group session next week with baseball and softball where two or three kids, uh, maybe four, get together with one instructor in a tunnel and do either pitching or hitting or, or one of those uh, on the field and maybe doing catching specific, first base specific drills. Um, and those are an hour long session, two or three kids with one instructor and they're 20 bucks. Bring your, bring your kid in. and and leave them here and, and let, them, let them learn the basic skills of a position or learn pitching or learn hitting. Our indoor league's coming up and uh, that, that's going to be a blast uh, for the two, uh, for the 10 year old group and the 12 year old group uh, where they're going to do a little seven on seven with our, with our program and, uh, and uh, you know it's going to be live. Live uh, bunting, stealing, catching, everything except we're, we're going to use the rift balls, readiness injury factor balls, the softer spongier balls. Uh, it's early. Kids are still getting used to just putting the basketballs down. We don't want them to, you, know, yeah. you don't want to discourage them come Little League season by, by catching a hard ball, uh, you know, right out of the gate in, inside. Inside it's always the lighting and, and although this is great, I mean it's lit well, um, we still, we, we're going to use the, the rift balls on, on all the leagues. We have a state-of-the-art video projection machine which we can throw all the way from a professional right-handed pitcher to a little league right-handed pitcher. Uh, we also have a college lefty as well that we can throw up there and it looks just like there's a guy standing in front of you ready to throw the ball. Um, throws curveballs, sliders, fastballs, sinkers, everything. Uh, we also have a softball one that there's nothing like it north of Massachusetts which is pretty incredible. Um, we have five different cages, we have jugs machines, we have an iron mic machine, we have pitching training aids. Um, so pretty much if you can think of it with baseball, we have it. And if 
you come in here and you see and you don't see something, we want to know about it because we want to get it. We want to have the best equipment and have the best facility around. There are two key things, mechanics and timing. And without that actual seeing the visual part, you're missing it, okay? Yeah. And, and in any instruction, they talk to you about the mental approach, the visual approach, and the physical approach. Without one of those three, you can't teach. And the visual has been missing for many years, and that's what these things do. And it's the MVP of coaching, mental, visual, physical. I mean, we want to help kids elevate their game. Everybody that plays baseball when they're a at a young age, they aspire to play in the major leagues, and you know some kids make it and some kids don't. But we want to, we want to make that as much of a possibility for everyone who steps through these doors as possible. So we have the best staff around, um, and we have the best coaches around that are here to help any kid that walks through here to elevate their game to their maximum potential. We want to create elite baseball from the state of Maine. We feel like we have the talent, and with this facility, it's giving us the capabilities of training year round, especially with the weather that we have up in Maine. So we're excited about the possibilities, and we want to create the best baseball possible. As my ultimate goal, I want to produce some D1 athletes from the area. I mean, before coming from Maine myself and coming from a small town in Bucksport, you kind of get overlooked a lot because you don't have a lot of opportunities. With this facility, we're going to create those opportunities for kids and hopefully get a lot of coaches coming down here and recruiting kids for the program. That is, that's really what sets us apart, I think. Um, um, and these guys, some of these guys, especially the really established varsity level and region coaches, um, they, they compete against each other all year, the Dave Morris and the Dave Gagne and the Dave Utterback. And, you know, the, the, I call them the three Daves. And, <laughs> and, and, uh, but they, they compete all year. But when we talk to them about coming over here and teaching, they were all on board, all of them, without, I mean, with no hesitation. They said, we'll definitely come over there, we'll definitely teach, we'll do what we can. Um, of course, they're limited with the hands-off policy, you know, with coaches and, and having and being able to coach their players, but they can coach the little kids. And uh, having those guys around, and Jason Harvey uh, on the boys' side, and, and we were so lucky, we got, uh, I was, uh, just before we even opened the facility, I was, uh, one weekend I got an email from Australia, it was Pat Moran, and he was in Australia pitching professional baseball over there for the, you know, because it's winter here, and uh, he was getting ready, the season was over, he was headed back to Maine, of course he's a Hamden Academy guy, went to Maine, went to St. Joe's, now he's playing professional, and uh, he um, said, hey, I'm coming back home to Hamden for a couple of months, I'll be there until the end of April, can I come over there and, and work, can I teach kids with you, and I'm like, oh, what a great deal just worked out perfect so Pat's been here since day one as soon as he got back he came over and uh, so that baseball side is rock soft the softball side we have probably the best female player to ever play at Maine uh, Taryn Hall a lot of people you know have heard of Taryn but what they might not know is since she was 12 years old the ASA junior teams that she played on U12 all the way to, to U18 for six straight years her team won the state championship in, in, for Maine uh, that's, that itself is remarkable, and of course at Maine, she set records, I mean, talk about sluggers, there's a perfect example of sluggers right there. She holds career records at Maine in home runs, in doubles, in slugging percent, in RBIs. Um, she could have played D1 in any place in the country, any place. She picked Maine to help Maine and help the Maine girls see something. And uh, when we told her we was opening this place, she jumped in with both feet and uh, has created a staff around her that's just absolutely fantastic. Our website is www.mainsluggers.com and it's a very uh, easy site to maneuver around. It's got your first base, second base, third base, everything is right there. Just click on the click, it'll take you any place in our site. Um, talk about our instruction, talk about our AAU teams or our Junior Olympic teams that we're sponsoring and the programs that we're running, all of the instruction, the private instruction, the group instruction. Um, just coming in and renting a tunnel and, and putting your daughter, uh, bringing your daughter over and just putting her in the, in the hitting machine uh, uh, projection tunnel for a half hour. All those rates, everything is there. Uh, go ahead in, all the staff bios are there. You can read about our staff, how, what their qualifications are. It's all right there. I think we have a, a huge area to cover. Um, and I think a lot of people are gonna cover a lot of miles just to get here so that they can utilize this facility. 
Uh, as parents, you, you want the best for your children and we believe that this is where they're going to find that. I think with the programs we have in the summer, we're going to get our name out there quite a bit as like a main program because a lot of our teams are going out of state and playing, so hopefully Maine will come up in the rankings a little bit. I'd like to thank you guys for coming out here to the sports arena. We're Maine's uh, premier family entertainment center, uh, offering bowling, uh, mini golf during the season, obviously, uh, pool tables, the biggest arcade north of Portland. And we really like to thank you guys for coming out. And uh, if you get a chance to come by, we're located at 1640 Hammond Street. And you can go to our website at uh, www.thesportsarena.biz.